All right, Lauren, in this episode, we talk about going back to desire after four years and Richard having to pay for it with pegging, which is exactly what it sounds like and not Room 77's new cryptocurrency. We hook up with couples and I did a lot of gay stuff, but made sure to say no homo before everything, so I still consider myself as straight as Puff Daddy. <laughs> you don't give a fuck. All right, Lauren. Welcome back. We started. Thank you, Richard. I am enjoying my tan. Oh, so tan, Richard. Tan all over. How did you get tan all over, Richard? It's funny you ask. <laughs> because I, I've i been participating in the Milano Tan too. Right. Like I have told my listener before. Yes. A little bit of that. I do tend to take a little too much and wind up too brown. <laughs> but the problem is we don't always have the opportunity to get fully nude au naturel. We don't. No, because we live in a community where uh, we don't have a new pool. And you don't even get naked at our own events. I know. I mean, during I the day. I don't because it's always it's always awkward. You want to get naked and then I have to get on a ladder or a chair. <laughs> I go do something and that's just bad naked. <laughs> we need you in the lobby. God damn it. Where's my pants? I know. Yeah. yeah. The GM needs to see you. Oh man, I need pants for that. <laughs> I don't want to talk to Carlos naked. (laughs) That's so awkward. Hi, guys. Can I get the numbers for this week? (laughs) Stop looking at my junk. This is a business meeting. For God's sake, eyes up here. But speaking, speaking of events... How many how many rooms do we have left? Eight. Eight. It's eight and then it's seven and then it's eight and then it's seven because people <laughs> then they don't come and then it's like goddamn stock market. Keep selling out and then not selling out. I just want it to sell out. Can you people just buy the tickets? <laughs> okay, it's, it's just getting frustrated. Just do it for Richard. Just do it for my heart, please. But anyway, <laughs> speaking of sin coming this October, I was notified uh, by two of our guests that we have placed the event on Yom Kippur. So we are starting a new part of the campaign for our October event. And this is how it goes. Hey, Jews. <laughs> During our October event this year, make sure to come and celebrate the holiest of holy days <laughs> at Sin. That did not sound exactly the way I wanted it to. All right. If you are Jewish, but this is what I, this is what I do want to say. If you are Jewish and you need a special holiday package, we will provide you with special days. You do not need to prove that you are Jewish. No documents or home movies of your bat mitzvah, just photos of your husband's junk. <laughs> That'll do it. That'll do it. Just show us a package and receive the package. This is available for a limited time. Your junk may be double checked in person. <laughs> It's a special that we're running right now. It's the Yom Kippur special. Because we love Jews. We love Jews. We love junk. Everybody wins. Everyone wins. This is an everybody wins episode. <laughs> anyway, make oh sure, just for my heart health, if you guys, if you're waiting on booking this thing, uh, can you just go book it? Because I honestly, I can't anymore. Can you tell us how you got your all over tan? Yes. Thank you for getting me back on track. <laughs> we had the opportunity where two friends called us up and said, it's been four years since you've been at Desire. Would you like to go? And we said, uh, we're scared. <laughs> yeah. uh, we can't afford it. Yeah. They said, look, we want to treat you guys to go up there. And these are two very good friends of ours. Yeah. We want to give you two nights. Go up there with us. Don't be afraid. We, we think it's been long enough. Yeah. And they're... Probably right, but we still are just like, no, I don't want to go. Yeah, we, we were we were shying away from it for a long huh. time because quite frankly, we didn't know what was going to happen. Things ended in a very vague, odd way. We didn't know if things would be like, there, sorry, no vacancy, <laughs> yeah. or uh, there were sharpshooters on the roof. <laughs> it was just a very, very odd ending. E- ending. Yeah. So it was a, a mixture of a lot of things that was just like, don't know, don't want to. Really. I don't want to try. Yeah, I don't want to. And, be. Uh, you know, after time, you're just like, ah, whatever. So we love hanging out. We've been friends with these two, very close with these two for a very long time. And I know what everybody's thinking. Yeah. Oh, couple wants to uh, bring you to a resort only because they want to fuck you. Well, you should know Mr. or Mrs. Smarty Pants. Yeah. We already did. Yeah. And we fuck him all the time. So there. And so then what are they getting? I'll tell you another thing. What? She's younger than me. <laughs> And I'll tell you another thing. He's more handsome than I am. Uh, I'll tell you another thing. They're really good in bed. I'll tell you another thing. They have more sex than we do. 
So it really wasn't, it's not one of those things where it's like, uh, they're, they're looking for anything. It just genuinely really enjoy each other's company. Well, we went to RM and we got to experience, they call it Eden. Did you like what you saw? I thought it was gorgeous. Yeah. I thought they did a really good job. I was like, wow, this finally feels like a great party place. It looks like a resort. Yeah. It feels more. Not like a hotel that was made into a concept hotel. First of all, that's how I got my all over tan. The first thing I did was knowing that I have the Milano tan in my system. Yes. Went straight in the pool, laid on my stomach and, 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 and sunned my ass. Ass in the air. Yeah. Ass in the air. All fours. <laughs> I didn't care what anybody thought. I just went full doggy <laughs> and pointed my, my rectum at the sun. <laughs> just Zumba around me, Kevin. Yeah. So that's how I got my all over tan. Now I, how I maintain this I don't know because I can't afford to go there. But uh, we we had a lot of fun while we're there. I miss having a place because let's face it: if you don't know us, yeah, then why are you listening? Really? (laughs) (laughs) If if you don't know us, we we started going to sorry twenty twelve. So that's over a decade. Mm -hmm. of being familiar with that place twice a year since 2012 and then living there for three months and then being there every day for three straight years and then never seeing it again. Yeah. So it takes a lot out of your life when it was such a big part of your life. And there is this thing that you get out of it that can't be sort of replaced. There's, There's really not any other place that we can go just because of where we are. Because we had spent so much time there going back and it being a different look, a new space a new construction, it felt like we were getting to experiencing something new for the first time. Everything with was everyone. New. Yeah. Everything was new for everyone with us. And that felt good because there was no like looking around going, oh, I remember when. Right. There. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, except when we got into the old disco <laughs> and you're like, wah, wah. Oh. <laughs> this is where we did the art of touch. And then playtime with that couple. Now, we had promised this lovely, beautiful lady that (laughs) she would be able to peg me. Now, she is one of three women Mm -hmm. in my life that has ever pegged me. Yes. Uh, (laughs) You, her, and then some other lady that we actually just saw at the the takeover. Yeah. So, we promised her, if you pay for our day (laughs) at Desire, you get to take my ass. That's a a normal deal. (laughs) In any civilized society. I just pulled up the contract like on Google. It was already like pre-written. It was so common. They have templates. Yeah, a template. That's exactly. So we had brought the strap on. Thing was, is going into it, I, my stomach was not feeling great. And yeah. there's something about getting pegged when your stomach isn't feeling great. <laughs> it is just not a sexy thing. I don't even want to get into the details of it. Um, I think the women listener will understand. Really? Yes. I mean, even if it's not anal, we still like, if your stomach's messed up, you still want to do sex. Yeah, it just feels a lot of pressure. I don't know how you <laughs> ladies feel when you are when you feel bloated and you're getting fucked. <laughs> it's, not, it's not the sexiest feeling. Yeah. yeah. You hear me, girls. You know what it, that feeling when you feel full already? <laughs> <laughs> they hear me. They do. We couldn't make that happen, which was sad because we were you were looking forward to it. I was looking forward to it. It was just it's just always sort of a sexy experience with them because we are so comfortable with them. Yeah. Um just this is where we had the successful 11 second DVP. <laughs> and we only do this because when we're really comfortable with a couple. The listener doesn't really care how much we love these people, but let's just say right. so it's here's fantastic. here's what I love about first of all. We call him Coke Can Cock. <laughs> He's been in the episodes before. Yeah, yeah, we've talked about him before because he can't even wear normal sized condoms. They, they look like you call them like they look like crop tops when he puts on a normal, <laughs> a normal condom. They also don't have a, a lot of hang ups, right? They're just really into fun. So I enjoy watching his cock enter you. Why? Because he's really thick. And I like seeing you in a little bit of pain. I'm sorry. (laughs) I know you do. But she also enjoys watching me watch him inside her. So one of the things that she allows me to do, and not every couple allows me to do this, she allows me to crawl underneath of you Mm -hmm. while he's fucking you doggy. Mm -hmm. So I can just be under there watching. I mean, it's one of the, it's one of my favorite things in the world, but you have to be really, really comfortable. You got to be a comfortable couple to, to be able to do that. Yeah, I'm happy they do. Then they throw out there. Let's try DVP. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm like my, I didn't even answer. I don't think I'm like, 
<laughs> it's it's always going to be a no from you, but we have to keep trying. <laughs> we have to keep trying. You're like, yes, that's a great idea. <laughs> I mean, we just, I, the thought is always like, yes, this is the right couple, wrong cock. <laughs> why I was hesitant. I'm like, are you kidding? I can barely take just one. How are you going to squeeze yours in too? It seems like every time we get a chance at DVP, it's always with someone with a, with a ginormous cock. I'm still fine with it. Anyway. <laughs> so I think I did enough research from mm-hmm. the last time that we failed. I was like, I got the position. I know how it's done now. Yeah. You're so, like a sophomore now. Yeah. So I like put, put him in position like I see it in porn and I'm like, mm-hmm, got it. Like I'm watching it like a football play. I'm like, all right, all right, tail back that way, running back to the side. All right, it's a screen to the left. <laughs> Receivers are running post flag. Got this. <laughs> I got this. This is no problem whatsoever. It, yeah. So my first position for me anyway is to lay him out much like a corpse. Like I just have to put him underneath you. I'm On his s- back. And I'm going to lay spread over top of him. He's going to go in you first, and then I am going to gently enter you from coming in. Like a tarmac? I guess so. (laughs) I don't know. It was funny because you're supposed to have your legs together if you're the bottom person, and he kept like spreading his legs, and then you kept trying to spread your legs on top of outside, and you're like, together, together. But I don't know, maybe he couldn't hear behind my torso. He couldn't hear anything. (laughs) He's buried. (laughs) So then I start questioning every video. I was like, I'm like, is that how they were? I'm trying to bring up the pictures in my head right. of how it was. There's just no room, mainly because you're really small. He's really large. I should be able to fit in. And again, <laughs> all I'm thinking in my head is Lauren hasn't been practicing. Lauren has not been stretching herself out. Because I was planning on pegging. I know, but Richard doesn't feel good. <laughs> so, so I'm trying to get it in. I'm trying. I'm getting like the head in. And I can't, and then he's slipping out and then, and then you're, and then I'm like, I got it. Oh, this feels so good. He wasn't in. And then I'm like, damn it. I, I, I looked And down. she's watching everything. Like yeah. That. She's watching everything. She's loving it. And I'm trying to open up so they can see. And things are falling out and her, both her and I, we're grabbing both of them. I grab both cocks to shove them in there. Cause I'm getting so frustrated <laughs> at this point. And at one point I have both of our cocks in my hand. I'm looking down. I'm comparing the thickness of his cock against my cock. And I pause every, everything in my life pauses. <laughs> and I'm like, God damn it. Look at that. That is just, that is just pathetic. Look at the di- size difference. God damn it. Focus. Richard. Focus. <laughs> it's like the Russian dolls again. Yeah. Uh, so I had to just focus. I had to get that out of my head. And then it, it went in you again doing. <laughs> I know. Which is not, and, and also creeping up towards the headboard, like you're running away from me. We, 11 seconds, I think it worked, right? It, Which we, we did get video of it. Well, yeah. She was like, do you want me a video of this for your OnlyFans? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm trying to relax and spread open and just like lay on him without, but not crush him. Because if I hold myself up, I'm engaging my abs, which then pushes the cocks out. So she grabs the phone with one hand and then just like grabs the cocks. Like, I got to get this on film. Like she's the yeah. director. And then that's it. And you grabbed them and shoved them in because you're angry. It was like all this angry DVPing happening. Yeah, there are points in there. I just want to let you know how much you should appreciate me. Moments I get to where I'm just like, I'm just going to fucking stick it in. It's going to hurt. I'm sorry. But then I don't. Aww. Like I just get right to that point where I'm like, it's going to be like ripping the bandaid off. And then I don't because I'm like, I'm really afraid of hurting you. 11 seconds. We, we can keep working on it. And I, it felt so good. Yeah, it does. I, I guess know. it felt good to me too. I'm, I'm sure it felt good to him. He didn't know what the hell was going on. <laughs> Um, he was just lying there. He had no idea what, what was happening at any point. The poor guy is under you, like trapped <laughs> under an avalanche uh, and comes out of it afterwards going, what happened? What happened? Tell did me it, everything. Did it, did it happen? <laughs> what did it look like? Describe everything. Because I just stood there <laughs> waiting for everything to either happen or not happen. Tell me everything. Oh, His wife was like, it, it did happen. <laughs> It was successful for a short period of time. She now, usually when a problem like this occurs, I go straight to YouTube. Not knowing what you're doing, what's the problem? Yeah. Example. Oh. Honey, I cannot get the damn light bulb into the slot in the Jeep. Right. Go straight to YouTube. Uh-huh. Oh, that's how it goes in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not a video you can find on YouTube. <laughs> 
So it's quite problematic. It's like it's like you can watch porn, but it's edited so much and it just looks really easy because why would they give you a how-to? She said, all right, let me try. So then she got into the same position. I tried to go in. She was like, no, 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 no. See? So it it wasn't just you. Yeah. She's kind of a pro as well. So I was like, all right, it's it's not just my wife. So I will not, in fact, leave her and find a younger, <laughs> more gaping wife. <laughs> gaping. Gaping. Look, sometimes we want you loose. Sometimes we want you tight. That is not a word that I think women would ever want associated with them. Oh, my God. You are so gaping. Oh, look at that gaping vagina. That gaping hole. Ah, I'm going to go in there and you'll never feel me. That happens. Right? <laughs> so we were kind of unsuccessful. I mean, if I was riding a bull, I'd be a rock star at 11 seconds. But I don't think DVP counts for. Would, would have made a movie about it. <laughs> when you fail. What do you do? You get up and you pull yourself up by your boots, continuing the rodeo pun, and you try again. No, you do drugs. This is what you do. <laughs> you did. So we were given shivers. Do you remember the shivers? Yes, shivers. Right. So gummies. Shivers, yeah, the shivers gummies are THC female enhancers. Yeah, there's a female and a male. I call them the anal openers. <laughs> I don't know if that's the name they're going to go ga- with. Gaping. Maybe the gapers. <laughs> but- This is a great way for those people who don't want to do anything dangerous. It's a delicate, just a boop, enhances sensation, sensitivity, which makes you you feel like all your parts are just right there on the surface. We said, let's pop this and see what happens next. Yes. And what happens? More success. Yes. How did you feel? Just felt a little more open. I felt open. I felt relaxed, uninhibited, Uninhibited. very sensitive. Kind of how I felt. Good way for most women or most people who do get that feeling of anxiety to try something different that does relieve that anxiety. Yeah. And it's a gummy. So you take one and it's not, did I smoke too much? Because that's happened to me before too. You're like, I just smoke a little and then you're gone. Right. And shivers is not like injecting themselves like you. Not like (laughs) injecting. You know what I mean? Because right. you're like holding a spoon and a lighter. I'm mm, like, Lauren, relax. Stop it. It, it's very, very cool. So we got a code for you. Go to shivers.store and use promo code R77 at checkout. Then you will get 10% off. Get your ooh. That ooh wound up really well because she successfully did the DVP. You successfully did the DVP yes. uh, for more than 11 seconds. <laughs> You still didn't get your trophy yet. I didn't get a mi- I didn't get my minute chip Mm-mm. yet, but I'm working on it. But it did help. So yes. next time you do more shivers, <laughs> I think. I don't know if that's necessarily how it works. I'm going to take two. You're going to take two. <laughs> and we'll do anal on each other. <laughs> okay. That All right. Sounds- All right, where do they go again? Go to shivers.store, code R77. So what we need is, we actually need two things. So if this could serve two purposes, we need, I need a bookkeeper. If anybody does bookkeeping, we really need a bookkeeper (laughs) that can work with the budget. And we need a DVP coach. (laughs) Now, I'm not saying it's mandatory that you can do both, but that would help our budget. (laughs) Does the DVP coach have to participate or can they coach via Zoom? Depends. Mm -hmm. If you get to participate, is that a discount or is that an upcharge? We'll have to work out what the deal is. Maybe participate, but I don't know. I may want to keep it strictly professional. Yeah. The bookkeeping, however, I will not be participating in that. (laughs) Me neither. Okay, great. (laughs) That was just the starter of the trip. That was... uh, That's night one. It was just a warm up. Yeah. We finished that night and, uh, you know, I'm sure the entire resort applauded (laughs) somewhere, maybe inside. They felt it. They felt the energy. We went home, went to bed, started all again the next day. It's that time again. Bikini addiction time. That is right. Bikini addiction sold a lot of bikinis. Yeah, when the new stock color came out. Yeah, I think it's mostly because of us. I mean, I'm I'm giving us most of the credit. Why is that, Richard? Well, because we came up with a genius campaign. This genius campaign also got me into a little bit of trouble. See, what we did is we infused a fear tactic (laughs) into the campaign and we made it very, very sexist. (laughs) 
which usually works. Right. When HR from Bikini Addiction <laughs> reached out to me and said that was very, very sexist, mm -hmm. I was like, of course it was. That's yeah. what we were going for. Yeah. Nailed it. Yeah. They said, no, no, no. A lot of the Bikini Addiction clients are the men. You moron. The failure men were right in front of my face and I wasn't even looking at them. <laughs> Stupid. Why do I sound angry, Lauren? Because I was born this way. Also, because I learned that a lot of men were buying ladies bikinis and this made me feel a little bit less than. Why? Just maybe I should buy you a bikini. And I know that there's a guy out there right now who knows what I'm talking about. You yeah. know what I mean? He's just like, I didn't get anything nice for my wife in a while. And today is the day that we go out there mm -hmm. and we buy our ladies a bikini yes. from Bikini Addiction. It maybe some flowers and maybe some floss because you've been forgetting it every single time you come home from work and you keep forgetting at the floss. <laughs> <laughs> Bikini addiction doesn't only make women look better, it can make the men look better too. So go to Bikini Addiction and make yourself look great, guys. Buy her a Bikini Addiction bikini. You win, she wins, we all win. Except for the Philadelphia Eagles, they will not win. <laughs> Lauren, tell these guys where to go. Go to bikiniaddiction.com and at checkout, use promo code ROOM77 and you will save 10% on your gift for your lady. Bikini Addiction, they got you covered. Not that covered. Just enough. Minimum coverage, maximum confidence. <laughs> so a little backstory before we start on day two <laughs> is on the way in, we had to go check into our room. Yeah, we hadn't got our room yet. It wasn't ready. So we were in the lobby and... Someone who I knows us from Facebook and comes over and is like, hey, are you Lauren and Richard? And we're like, yeah. Yeah, we are. Who are yeah, you? Are. Who are you two fuckers? <laughs> and he's being, uh, he's being like, you were the travel person who booked my room here. So thank you. And we're like, oh my God, what are the chances? <laughs> this is fantastic. So like these, I don't even know how to describe. They're young. They're like bouncing little balls. They're just uh, balls of energy. And we're like, oh my God, how fun. Well, she wasn't a ball of energy. Oh, she yeah. had just taken a really long flight and didn't want anyone to, to talk to her, her or see her. She <laughs> described herself as feeling crusty and he was feeling very social. And all she wanted to do was take a shower. shower. <laughs> so she was like trying to get out of the situation. And he was like, hey. And he was like trying to socialize. Oh, you're right. But we had a laugh about it in the lobby. And I just remember thinking, I'd do them. <laughs> and you had inadvertently made a comment about pegging because pegging was still on your brain. Yes. And they had responded back with, yeah, we'll do that. Or he'll yeah, do that. Yeah, we love that. Yeah, or, we love that. Or something positive. Yeah. Or like, hmm, interesting. Noted. Noted. We'll get back to you later. <laughs> Go take a shower. Later on in the in the night, I was kind of looking for them in the in the crowd. Yeah, and then I I spotted them. They, I don't know if I saw them at the pool. I don't really remember. They were just always everywhere. That's yeah. what I remember. Yeah, I think that we saw them at the pool and introduced them to our friends, and then it, we just kind of started having a gaggle. Yeah, like there was people would just come over and yeah, it right. just started accumulating. That day, uh, we were sitting in the pool. Mm -hmm. And this is the part that I miss is <laughs> you, you turn to him and you're like, all right, I am going to go over to the bed and give him a hand job. And he's like, oh, that sounds lovely. And you're like, well, come on over and you can watch. He's like, I will go get a drink and come over and watch. <laughs> they come over while you're in the middle of doing that. And it starts to turn into a very touchy session right by the yeah. pool and <laughs> because it's our first trip back we're like we're like mm. I, can't. I know but we're like should we be pushing the boundary at the yeah. pool right so i say all right i have an idea i know the hot tub the old hot tub not the new one because it's not open yet <laughs> the old one we have to walk all the way there i know it's not open yet but i know there's beds up there why don't no pressure we just won't do any penetration we'll just do a lot of heavy petting for 30 minutes and then we'll come back just Easy peasy, right? Yeah, it was like, and then we'll go eat lunch. It was lunch yeah, after. and then just yeah. lunch. It's just casual. It's nothing serious. Nothing. So then uh, they're like, cool, let's do that. Um, we walk up there. I think we're fucking inside of 60 seconds. So I broke my own rules. But when we, when we got up there, we learned very quickly that they were both openly bi. Yeah, like bi, play, they're whatever. 
Which we were fine with. We were like, whatever, let's have some fun. Yeah, so it was like flowy and fluid and it was... then things escalated very quickly. (laughs) So it starts, you know, you say, let's be casual about it. Let's be (laughs) casual about it. And before you know it, I'm getting ready to stick my cock in you. And he's like, well, I thought there was no penetration. (laughs) Smart ass. Well, I'm not breaking the rules if you put my cock in her. (laughs) <laughs> in my own wife, then it's you putting my cock in right. So we all agreed, and he did that. So we fucked. I think I came. I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember if I think you were going to save it. I don't remember. I don't, I don't know. Either. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was like parallel play. And then we had lunch. <laughs> It wound up being really, really hot. And then it's so spontaneous. I love it. Yeah, it was very spontaneous. It was very hot. It was very fun. And then we went and and had lunch after that. I miss those times so much. Yeah. That is the the stuff that is like, oh my God. And people who are like, I I can't do spontaneous stuff. I'm like, oh my God, I just. It's great. It was perfect. And then that night we're out dancing. I mean, when I say dancing, (laughs) this is how I dance. I will hop around for 27 seconds in intervals of like 27 seconds. And then I'll stop and I'll scream in your ear. And then I will stop and bounce around for 22 seconds. And then I will wander away and then I'll come back and then I'll jump around in a semi-rhythmic pattern for another 19 seconds. And then I will lean over and I will complain about the DJ and begin a discussion about (laughs) what logical choice he or she made for changing the song, the date of that song and how abrupt the transition was. (laughs) I will bring up the fact that it is a different genre. It is a different beat. It is a different culture and a different mood. Once we have solved that issue, I will start to hop again or pretend that I know the merengue. That will last for 17 seconds, and then I will wander off again. That is exactly how I dance at every event. That is so true. Oh, my God. It is like an ADHD person that dances. Yeah. I have a lot of fun, so it doesn't really matter. At least you always tell me, like, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. What is this song? Everybody, everyone stop. <laughs> I, need to, I need to have a discussion. The worst transition ever. Can we all stop dancing? Why are you all still dancing? Are we going to stand for this? <laughs> we we decide to to leave. We go back. Now, we had been talking more about the whole pegging thing. My stomach is still fucked up. Ugh, Richard. But they are still into it. We found out that they are pegging aficionados. I know. They have like an assortment of attachments and like all this stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, you just landed in my lap. I'm so excited. So we give up on the disco. I ain't, uh, got, I ain't got time for that. Yeah, I have time. But we go back to the room. Just to describe them again, she is a tiny spinner, beautiful, short hair, tight body. Oh my God, she had so many abs. He is a muscular, bald-headed, just a manly, stocky guy with an ass that looks like it belongs on a Calvin Klein ad. That's what it looks like. That's so true. He's a manly man. That's very important. That's very important. Operative phrase in that sense with these really big, thick legs. Not like mine. No. Not like mine. No, they they definitely squat way more than both of us added together. I I can't even look down at my legs. It's just (laughs) both of their genitalia checks out. Yes. Beautiful genitalia. I'm very happy that uh, we've decided to, again, wind up with these people in in our room. We have a quick talk and we prove to one another Mm -hmm. that we've both been tested. Yeah, we had recent tests. We are all clean. So we decide... This is going to be a bareback night. So I, in my head here, this is a bareback skate. Barebacks on the floor. (laughs) This skate is for barebacks only. Barebacks, barebacks only on the floor. This skate is barebacks only. (laughs) And then you start hooking up the lights and the music. They are openly by. So it's just, it's, it's, it's just a different energy. It's like there's no hangups. There's no insecurities. Um, it's just kind of whatever 
is happening in the room is good. Yeah, it, it's just a little. It is. It's it is, less pressure. It is and, a little very free. I want you to imagine all of the positions that you can fuck in. Four people can fuck in, including pegging. And then I want you to take all these people and twist them all up like a pretzel. Uh-huh. And that's what we look like for a full, <laughs> for a full hour. That's what we look like. So there was one point where she was on top of me. And she was riding me, and she's like, she's muscular. She's just a tight girl. She's got these muscular legs. And she was fucking me up and down so hard that I was like, how long can she last? Because that's that's not easy. You're talking to a guy who can barely make it downstairs. That's true. <laughs> but she went, she kept going and going and going, and she started sweating before she quit and said, my legs hurt. I'm like, I just want to see how long you can go. And she went forever. I would need a bungee cord attached to the ceiling to do that. Yeah, I would like need an this- assist. Those little elastic chair things that you sit on that yeah, help you. Because I basket. still want to get this that. This goes back to the basket idea. Yeah, yeah I do like tw- maybe 20 and I have to then stop and do the grinding thing. Yeah. And she was literally doing, I, I mean, she must have done like 200 squats on you. Yeah. Easy. Two thumbs up. Um, <laughs> so and that we- means, can I tell you my part? What we were doing? Yeah, tell us your part. So he was... And he was inside me and he was fucking like a rock star with that. He's got that ass that he can fuck hard. And then he would go so deep and just grind like super slow. I was like, oh my God. I love it when guys do that because not a lot of guys will. They kind of just do like the pulse, 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 pulse. And they think that that's going to make you come, but it's so like, well, tell, tell the guys where they're supposed to grind. Well, it's not where you're supposed to grind. It's the, it's the pushing of that energy that you're like, you're shoving it so deep in me and Mm. then you're pressing it. Yeah. I mean, if you can hit the clip bonus, hello, but he, we had our foreheads pressed together. He took my legs, threw them together like a pretzel and flipped them to one side. I mean, he, he was in charge, knew what he was doing, and I was melting in the bed and just like, I, I don't even know what kind of sounds I was making, but I was watching and closing my eyes and opening and closing. It was heaven for me. We had sort of finished the Kama Sutra book as far as positions <laughs> went. And she was a good fucker too. And I don't mean fucking me. I mean fucking him. Yeah. Watching him get pegged was, oh my God, was so hot. It's like his manly body on all fours and her just pounding him was under those lights. It was so hot. That was over an hour, but we still weren't finished. (laughs) We didn't want to finish. So she and I just started making out. I'm so into her. I'm into her body and we're just into each other. We start making out. I'm all over her and then I'm all over him. We're in a sandwich and... So I'm like, I want to see some guy on guy stuff. And she's like me. She got super excited. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guy, guy stuff. (laughs) So you grab your vibrator. You're both lying against the headboard of the bed. And you're already touching yourself. Like, and go tickets. I bought my tickets. Go. (laughs) And I'm like, all right, fine. I'll touch his body. A nice body. Soft skin. Supple skin. (laughs) Not supple. Manly skin. Farm tractor working. Manly man skin. We'll be right back. Everyone, if you want to get into our pants virtually, you have to become a member. Go to room77life.com and in the top, click become a member. If you want to do us, this is your first step. If you want to not do us and just support us, this is the perfect way to do it. Go to our website and click become a member. If you want to get closer to yourself as a person and find the meaning of life, this is the first step. It's worth five bucks per month. What does it do for you? I could tell you, but you wouldn't understand it's that deep. You just have to experience the feeling like hundreds of others go into our private telegram chat group ask them for yourself oh you see what i did there you can't because you have to join to get in there it's a catch-22 mm-hmm. my father would call that a pile of shit <laughs> now i don't want to have to bring my dead father into this you did that yourself listener and now i don't know any other way to feel better than for you to join that's what we call a guilt trip sale <laughs> Or, as my father would also call, pile of shit. All of these people who joined last month that we're going to list right now, they also want a free vacation. Charles, Donald, Tisa, Michael, Coyote, Piccolo Doc, Court, Claudio, Eric, and Robert. That is a sale by deception because it's not true. Also, rightfully called a pile of shit. (laughs) 
What's not a pile of shit is becoming a member. Go do it now at room77life.com and click become a member at the top. We'll wait. We'll even pause this for you. Hey, Google, pause. Alexa, pause podcast. Siri, pause podcast. (laughs) That should cover it. (laughs) I start touching his body, but he's being very respectful of me. Like he's just standing there taking it, Mm -hmm. but enjoying it because who wouldn't? Yeah, we're both on our knees, yeah, like standing, facing us, facing. You're looking at us like we're putting on a show. Yeah, you're at the show. You're on the stage, yeah, like in the middle of West Hollywood. <laughs> and he's just being respectful of me, right? So I just grabbed his big manly bald head and put it on my cock, <laughs> and he started sucking my cock. He was a really good cocksucker. I'm watching the two of you just like. Uh, I know we were we were like coming over and over again, and we like. We were both touching each other's nipples and squeezing them and like sneaking in little kisses here and there. But we were all intertwined. She and I, like I could not have been more close to her and slipped over my vibrator for her so she could come more. I mean, we were just coming, coming so hard. And I'm doing this in a very manly, no homo way. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. that's how you have to do this. You have to do this in a no homo way. You have to grab his bald head and say, hey, man, suck my cock. No homo. Yeah. No homo, but don't forget those balls. (laughs) (laughs) My body, I didn't want to move. I just wanted to keep coming and coming and coming. All right. Well, this is what I learned. So pro tip for if you ever find yourself with a guy, here are the things that I would suggest you do. Okay. First of all, always be flexing because it's better if you're flexing, making muscles, looking manly. Yes. Also, when you're grabbing on to things, I didn't. Well, I couldn't grab onto his hair because he was bald. <laughs> you have to grab on to stuff like you're working on heavy machinery. It's very different than grabbing onto like oh, you're going to grab on it like you're grabbing a wrench. Very, yeah. Very, very different. Right. I think he had like his shoulder or something. I don't know what yeah, you were got, using for leverage, but yeah, it was got, manly and hot. Yeah. And then when you, when you say, oh, oh yeah, fuck yeah. Like when you're fucking a guy, you, like you say, oh, fuck yeah. You, you have to bring it down an octave <laughs> because usually when you do it, a girl, you're like, oh, fuck yeah. But when you guy, you'd be like, oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. But you got to be careful. <laughs> you want to hit, hit that Darth Vader level <laughs> down in here. Then it's, you're going to make things awkward and weird. <laughs> So, you so gotta, not Sam Elliott. No, you don't want to. I mean, if you had Sam Elliott, that'd be fucking awesome. <laughs> but, but yeah, you gotta, you gotta change your octave a little bit. Yeah. You gotta change your, your man hands. It's, yeah, it's, so these are manly. things that make you look manly that make you sound manly. So you can do gay stuff without having to deal with any of those gay thoughts that may be holding you back. Right. You know what I mean? So yes. do those things. No, you don't. It's just that easy. I'm touching myself. Uh, You are touching yourself. (laughs) I can't talk. I'm sorry. I'm being a podcaster. Your fingers are inside of you. That's what I have to deal with. Also, if you want to go to Desire, where all the gay stuff happens. (laughs) go to Lauren's box. You'll find my box at room77life.com. Click on my box and you'll get a free bikini addiction bikini with every five night booking. Your fingers are inside of you. Well, I could turn on a vibrator, but then you'd hear it in the background. All right, go play with your pussy. I'm sorry. It's just (laughs) Go play with your pussy. Hey, Lauren, we're back. Let me know if you need another masturbatory break. Should we schedule in here at room 77? <laughs> it's part of HR. Listen, the gay stuff turns me on. I don't know what to tell you. Well, now that I am fully straightly gay, I'm just, I'm looking for a drop down menu on our profile. They have straight uh-huh. and then bi and then gay. I'm waiting for somebody to add a no homo gay stuff. <laughs> I seem to have that. I seem to have that one. I would know. I know what it means. Right. Right. I think that's a great idea. You guys into soft swap, full swap, Years full straight. swap, girl, girl stuff, mm-hmm. no homo gay stuff. <laughs> right. Just try to work it into conversations. Yeah. See what they say. And then you're going to get, sorry, what did you say? I said, I'm not a homo. <laughs> I didn't ask if you're a homo. I'm not a homo, but I'm just if, letting you know. if you were, would I, would I be your type? <laughs>
You know, there's always a way out of it. <laughs> right, sure. I'm just saying, gun to your head, gonna suck cock, would it be a cock like this? What about this one? Right. These are all easy questions that you can answer right now. <laughs> <laughs> I dare you. We always like to play a game in the beginning of our, our play sessions. <laughs> I mean, this is normal. Everybody does it. Right. It's called, who's sucking your cock now? <laughs> It's just something to loosen you up. (laughs) Some people do those cards. They ask questions. They have conversations. Truth or dare. This one's called, what's in your mouth? (laughs) (laughs) All right, Lauren, we have to go because we really, next month is the month that we have to get out of here. This is it. Uh, But that did move our Florida trip up again. Again, we will be shooting OnlyFans in Florida. Men, reach out. We're going to be shooting stuff. We you need just, extra penises. Yeah, you just knock on the door. You walk in. You're there for five minutes. <laughs> we give a, a brownie and a juice box. That's what you get for payment. <laughs> if you want to take us for a ride to see what you're getting, go join OnlyFans. Yes. And look. OnlyFans.com forward slash room seven seven. You know, we haven't uh, picked the theme nights at Sensation for October yet. So I know. why don't we make one of the theme nights try by try by? Yeah. All right. What do you dress like? Um, Elton John. <laughs> Is that trying? No, that's that's it's pretty fucking gay, actually. <laughs> I don't know. What about P Diddy? Still up in the air. <laughs> If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to go leave a positive review. Or for more information, go to room77life.com. Thanks for stopping by Room 77. We had a blast. Now get your clothes and get out. Show